The next station is Terminus Station, YVR Airport. I didn't vlog all day because I was around people, but right now I'm at on the balcony of my pod hotel, which I mean, it's definitely small because it's literally just my mattress, but I really like it. it I don't know, it feels fun. Like, you know when you're young and you make forts and you play in the forts, like that's the vibe that I get from staying in the pod hotel. I don't know. I think the only downside is that you don't have a private bathroom and there's no counter space beside the sink. But other than that, I don't really go to the bathroom that much anyway. So other than that, I know it's cute. I think it's fine for like a one night stay. I definitely wouldn't stay at a pod hotel for like numerous nights in a row. But yeah, and it's nice that I get this space to vlog at. And it's like dinner time right now, so there's literally no one on the street. I'll show you afterwards. I came back to the hotel earlier than I thought I would, honestly. So I didn't bring anything. It's not even nine o'clock right now. And I want to like vlog myself in the pod, but I can't vlog if I'm literally sitting there doing nothing. So I'm gonna go out and buy a book. I don't know what else to do for like three hours. This is a nice space to just chill. Like this is the view from my balcony. And there's no one. It's only like nine. I won't lie, it feels a little dangerous. Not dangerous, but it's dark and I'm alone. So, you know. So I've risked a possible potential kidnapping and walk to like 15 minutes in the dark, surrounded by no one in the middle of the mountains, only to find out that the convenience store had like five magazines about Harry Styles and woodworking and diet meals, none of which sounds interesting.
I'm back here in my balcony spot. It's 8 a.m. right now. Last time I checked in, I think it was like 4.30 or something. But basically, I watched YouTube for like an hour until 5.30. And then I felt tired, which I was tired the whole time. But I like laid down while just listening to the random YouTube videos. And then I basically like passed the fuck out at, I don't know, maybe it was like a bit past 5.30. And then I woke up around 7-ish. So I think I slept two and a half hours maybe at most. I'm very tired. I was kind of hoping last night that I was like, please, maybe I'm not sick. Like, I don't know, maybe like maybe, Maybe my nose is just running, but no, I, I'm like pretty sure I'm sick, so <laughs> that's nice. Honestly, I'm not surprised because I get sick easily, so that's nice and fun and all. <laughs> but that's fine. I think overall I still had a good time. here some final thoughts about my first solo vacation I guess I haven't gone on vacation where I actually stayed over somewhere since December 2019 when I went to Seattle with like family and stuff so it's been a while I think it's partly because of that but there's definitely some post vacation depression setting in so that's fun honestly I feel like I had a better time than I expected. Obviously not that I was expecting to like not have fun, but I've always been someone who likes going to like cities. I don't really care about going to like the middle of nowhere. I prefer going to the city, eating at restaurants or going to museums, like that type of thing. It's not like there was anything to do in Whistler. I can't really put into words, but there was something about being there by myself and just enjoying being just surrounded by nature and the fact that there weren't that many people around. I don't know, like it's just different than what I would normally go for. And I definitely think it was perfect for like a one night stay because if I had to stay there any longer then I would have been bored. Yeah, it was fun. But now I'm back in Vancouver and I'm sad. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm sick and I'm also very tired because I slept two hours. I wanted to find like a snow globe because I have a snow globe collection, but surprisingly they didn't, like most of the gift shops didn't have any. So I was kind of scrambling to buy something because I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to get something to remember the trip. I just bought this random moose. It's a keychain. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while, but I'll see you in my next one. Bye, I'm gonna go take medicine now.